What's going on everyone? This is Akko Strictly Shisha and I am doing a comparison slash review of the new Hukafina Black line and I was one of the first few people to do a review of batch one of Hukafina and it looks like this if you guys are familiar with it. So maybe you want to get a close up. Can you see this? Look at this nastiness. It's very heavily dyed, green, um, smoked well, flavorings are really nice and you guys can check out my review of this if you guys would like to. But it was dyed green and the cut is slightly different. They have revamped this new line of Hukafina Black. And here is the new cut, and I won't taint it with my dirty fingers, but it's more brown in color, more tobacco looking, as you can see. A little finer chopped, and a little less juicy, but still more juicy than other tobaccos. Even more juicy than, uh, I guess, um, let's say Tangiers. So it's very juicy, very finely cut, and I will cut out and show you guys the packing right now. So we have the Hukafina Black, and we are smoking Spicy Peach. And there's two ways you can pack this. You can pack it kind of dense, like you'd pack Tangiers, or you can even fluff pack it. Um, I saw them in like a medium, well, I guess medium dense pack, uh, an Egyptian bowl, and it worked really well, but I tend to get better results um, when you dense pack it with a little stronger buzz and more bold flavor. So I'm just gonna pack this real quick, and we will tell you guys how it smokes. I'm What's going on everyone? This is Zach of Shikli Shisha. This is Sam. Samir, what are you smoking? We're smoking Hukafina Spicy Peach. It's their new line. It's their black line. Uh, this is batch three, and I showed you guys the difference in the cutout, or if not, I'm showing you right now. Um, this is uh, less dyed with the green. Uh, it's more of a natural color, more finely chopped, easier to pack. Um, the way we packed it, as you can see, was a more, um, it's a semi-dense, a uh, little bit less than 10 years, but still a dense pack, and it's a very easy pack, it's not too sticky, and I like the finely chopped leaves. I'm always a sucker for the finely chopped leaves, it's very easy to pack. Why don't you start with the smell? The smell is actually very good. Right away you get a, a kick of peach. And then, uh, you don't really smell the spice in it, you, more, you taste it more. There's not really a spiciness in the, the smell. Check it out. Yeah, let's see how it smells. Yeah, you can smell while I smell. You guys see the cut? So, the smell I'm getting. I'm getting a peach, um, not so much a fresh peach, but I'm getting kind of like a candy peach. Kind of like a Clorox-y dish yeah. kind of soap smell to it, which is not pleasant. Um, it didn't smell that way right when you open out the package, but after it's aired out a little bit, you do get that kind of soapy peach smell. By the way, part in the background knows we are smoking on the patio today, enjoying this freezing weather. It's a little cold than I expected. Um, and not too much spice notes from here, but a little bit to cut that sweet peachness. And what do you get with the smoke, Samir? Like when you smoke it, you taste a lot, a lot of peach. And you do get a little bit of soapiness, like how you have smelling. The soapiness is more of a uh, kind of a dish, dish soap. Um, not too much spiciness in it, but if it was a spicy peach, I, would, I wouldn't think I would like it at all. Yeah. Can you pinpoint any spices? On the back end, you do get a little bit of a... I would say like a... Maybe like... I don't know. I can't pinpoint any. I was asking if you could. Like a cayenne pepper? <laughs> kind of. Something. Not too... Yeah. It's not like, It's like a, a small... It's a, a warming peach. Yeah. At least a warming spice. Yeah. Let me take a hit. So the first uh, 20 minutes, you're getting that strong, bold peach flavor. Um, it is a candy peach, nice and sweet, with a little bit of spice in the background. After about 30, 40 minutes, the spice flavors are really coming out now, and the peach is dying down. And it's just like a warming, comforting spice. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a cinnamon. It's not really a cardamom. I don't know how to really explain it, but it's just a different peach. And it does pair really nicely with um, the peach flavor the spices do. It complements it nicely. And it's different from all the other peaches on the market. It's, other brands have done the peach better, but the blend is kind of nice. What do you think about the cloud output and the overall thoughts about it? I mean, good smoke. You yeah. know, you packed it tightly. 
Is it strong? It's supposed to be a high nicotine tobacco. Are you getting? Yeah, I get a little bit of a buzz, but it's not like, oh my god, I'm gonna fall off my seat. Yeah, the denser you pack it, the more of the buzz you're gonna get. So this is a little bit stronger tobacco. I know the first time I smoked it, I packed it really dense. I mean, it was kicking on the buzz. Not as bad today with the medium dense pack. And we were smoking outside, so the clouds you know, they blow away, but it's actually pretty good, surprisingly. Yeah. Wait, it's cold outside. I did not expect it to be this cold. Yeah? So you like it? What do you think? I like it. You know, I'd smoke it, but I don't know if I'd buy it. Um, it's definitely worth trying. It's something different, you know. Yeah. If you're a peach person, you know. If it's a peach person, this is a new peach to add to things you say you tried. Like I said, if they would just enhance that peach a little bit more and not get that soapy flavor, this would be really nice. And like I said, the complement of the peach and the spices is really good. I'm about clouds. I'm getting good clouds with this. Uh, the buzz is minor, but still a nice, calming buzz. It's good, nice outdoor smoke. Yeah. I mean, compared to the, the last batch they had, it was a lot of tobacco flavoring in it. Uh, this one is not as much, but you still get that, you know, traditional taste in it. Yeah, you're, getting, you're still getting that dark leaf, to, black leaf tobacco. And I believe this is a new batch of tobacco, a new cut of the tobacco. New tobacco leaf that Hukafina is using. Um, I believe they're still using the black strap molasses. I could be wrong on that, but I think they're still using black strap molasses. So it's very different than the first line. If you were not happy with the first line, um, then check this out. I think the flavors um, in this line and the first line are both very good. Both of them really captured great flavors, but the actual dye of the first line and things like that, I just didn't like. But the flavors they got in the first batch were really nice. So this is a perfected version um, in the third batch of the first batch. So I like it. I like cool. it too, you know? Some of the other flavors that we smoked by them um, in the new Black Line are a little bit better than this particular flavor, but as a whole, the new revamped Black Line is a lot better. Yeah, I would agree with that. You like it? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. We're going to enjoy the beautiful day today. Take care, guys.